Okay, guys. So, I yeah, I would love to hear from you um, as to what I should put on that painting because I think it needs something. I mean, it's going to look really neat once I varnish it, of course, but I, I don't know. I would like to know what I should put on him. And we're going to kind of maybe ignore the fact that he has a creepy face looking at you. Um, I do think it is kind of a cool thing. Maybe um, like a good night uh, poem or saying or something because it almost looks, almost kind of looks nighttime to me. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's what you guys are for. I need your help. So uh, I have a couple ideas in mind. Let me make sure you're centered kind of. Um, so I'm having a little bit of issues with my camera because lately um, my camera does this like auto track. So it follows certain things, which is fine if I'm doing my, uh, my farmstead videos. But when I'm doing things like this, the camera will tend to wander. So um, I either need to shut that off or pay more attention to it. So I'm very sorry for the last video that I was not centered, uh, but I didn't realize it. So when I looked through the viewfinder, uh, it was, it looked great. And then when I got down here, it looked like crud. So, so if you guys at all, I mean, I know y'all are on a, a painting website, painting videos, um, if you ever want to see any of the farm stuff that I do, check out the farms or the uh, Bald Knob Farmstead. I do have another page and another channel um, on YouTube, page on Facebook. So I, I am separating them because uh, there was a little confusion. So I'm going to separate them, keep them separate. But if you do want to see my crazy farm stuff, check out Bald Knob Farmstead. Anyway. Okay. So I'm doing... Ooh, I'm doing a great job about getting dog hair in the varnish, of course. Get out of there. Wow, he really, really doesn't want to get out of there. Shyster. Okay, so the, um, the directions are to use thin coats. And I have tried it both ways. I've tried super thick and I've tried super thin. If you guys do a, if you do a thicker coat... It tends to puddle up and look really uneven. So I just do, I'm going to do probably three thin coats. And then what I'll do is put the decal, because I, I do want to decal this one. So I'm going to put the decal over the coats of varnish. So I have found out that I, I do not put the decal, uh, I don't put the decal on and then varnish because a lot of the decals, um, it will resist the varnish. So it turns out like really uneven and kind of, kind of chunky and kind of, uh, something that I, it just looks, it looks like, it looks like crap. So if you ever do decal, do your varnish first, do all of your coats of varnish and then put the decal on top of that. So, uh, it also helps the decal to stick a lot better than if you were to stick it directly onto the paint. And I use Vinyl Disorder. So VinylDisorder.com is where I get all of my decals. Unless I find something in the store, I go through them because they have the best products in my opinion. The customer service is great. The shipping is great. Um, and unless they're having a big, awesome, super sale or discounts, you can use my discount code. It's STIX, S-T-I-X, and you'll get 10% off your order. And disclaimer, no, I do not get paid at all for giving them a shout out. I don't get any discounts. Trust me, I've asked them. Uh, <laughs> I just, I really like their customer service and their products are so, so great. Uh, I get the, basically it's the all use or the multi-purpose um, thick indoor outdoor decals. They are thick, they're vinyl, they're well-made. So that's what I, that's what I like to use. So, all right. So I'm just squirting the excess off of my sponge back into the bottle because uh, there is a lot of leftovers that comes out of your 
sponge. And I like to use those sponge applicators a lot better than your paintbrush because it doesn't leave paintbrush streaks. Now, read your varnishes. Make sure they are non-flammable because you really, I torch all mine to get the bubbles out. Should have done him first, but. So um, most of the bubbles will pop that I found, but if you want a glossier, glassier finish, throw a torch on it really quick. Just make sure it's non-flammable. I am not responsible if you light your studio on fire. Be responsible, people. All right, so I'm gonna bring you in really quick. It's gonna be a little bit opaque. But that, my friends, will change. Okay, so I know it's probably it's probably upside down for you guys, but um, it's super shiny right now. It will change. I'm gonna throw a couple more coats on here, but that's that's really all you do. And I wait, I wait. I'm gonna wait probably an hour in between coats unless there's a really thick spot. So as long as it's nice and clear and not tacky, I will add another coat. So that's awesome. It's going to look so great. A lot of definition, especially in this one, because there's a ton of metallics. Now, this one's going to be interesting because that's the very last video I did with the color shift and the, the metallics. So that's going to look really cool. Please, folks, tell me what you want to see a decal on here. I think I really want to do something with um, like a goodnight poem or something, maybe for a kid's room, because he looks kind of friendly. I mean, if a little kid looks at that, I don't think it's very scary. So like good night moon, or I don't know what I want to do yet. Anyway, so comment, let me know, and I will definitely order the decal and, and video that for you. So look at that. The colors are already starting to show up more vivid, very pretty. So have a great day, folks. It's getting lighter. I got to go and feed the sheep. So have a fantastic week and you'll see me soon.